Hey guys, this is Liz. Hey, this is Kevin. How's it going? And welcome to The Elite Show. So Kevin, I have a question for you. A lot of people have been saying, have been asking us like, hey, I'm eating right, I'm lifting weights, I'm doing all these exercises. How come the scale's not going down? Okay. No, well, so then, well, why is that? Yeah. Oh yeah, so uh, it's a really, really good question. The one thing that you need to, for everyone that's doing all this, and I feel as if this is a lot of our clients, is that they have to make sure that they're on track, you know, like mm -hmm. making sure that you're very, very <laughs> consistent um, and you're putting in a lot of effort too. And not only being consistent in the gym, but being consistent outside of the gym. Mm, like in terms of food or? Yes, according to, yeah, in terms of food, it's 100%. You need to be 100% mm -hmm. in food. You need to be 100% in coming to the gym. You need to be 100% in giving in effort. And effort meaning that you gave it all, that you're leaving that gym floor sweaty, you know, uh, just that you pushed it to your absolute limit. Mm, okay. So what, um, so it sounds like it's effort and food, right? Mm -hmm. But what if someone says, hey, I am putting a lot of effort, my food's on point, but yet the skill's not going down. What are some reasons of why, some reasons why the skill wouldn't be going down? Even oh. let's say those two things are. Yeah. So let's say that, you know, that someone is, you know, 100% on all those categories, you know, the one thing that most people that they need to take into consideration is that, so when you step on the scale, you're gonna see a number. Let's say it, it says 100 pounds. Let's say that you, uh, you're you starting your finish journey at, uh, at 100 pounds or so, right? 100 is just an easy number to mm -hmm. just kind of play around with. Um, a lot of people don't know that, you know, that 100 when you step on the scale is just one unit of measurement of progress. A lot mm -hmm. of other units of measurements of progress is taking body pictures before, uh, and after pictures, meaning every single week by week or bi-weekly, whatever, every two weeks or every monthly pictures, you know, making sure you find the right coach that's going to help you guide you there. Um, check out Elite Performance Coaching <laughs> for that. Uh, uh, but again, so you want to take pictures front, back, side to side. Um, in that sense, too, taking waist measurements of your chest, uh, you know, your arms, legs, uh, whatever you want to measure out to in that sense, too. Um, but again, too, and also how you feel too, how you're fitting into your clothes. If you know, if you went from a size two to a size zero for women, you know, that's progress. Mm -hmm. But again, to kind of readdressing the issue that you're saying like, oh, the scale still doesn't go down too. I would say, you know, it's, it's a lot much harder saying, hey, just don't let it bother you. Just don't yeah. let it bother you because you know what? Um, because it's just, you know, I feel as if like the scale is always like haunting people because if you're not a certain weight, then, you know, your life's going to be ruined. But again, to what weight is actually used going back to that hundred, it's a breakdown of three categories. So a lot of people don't know that. So you step on the scale, you see a hundred. A lot of people are like, oh, well, I'm all this fat, I'm all this muscle, or I didn't lose any progress, or I made progress, lost progress, whatever it is too. That weight, that hundred comprised of three things. And those three mm. things are total amount of water in your body so your body i forget the percentage but it's pretty high up in in amount of water that it's uh, just comprised of you know i think your body's mostly all water oh, you wow. know yeah so basically you know and little things that can cause an increase in weight weight which can be a fluctuation in water can be uh just kind of naming a few if, if you're on medications um it can cause water retention mm -hmm. for women if it's that time of the month um if you are you know uh pre-menopause or if you're just you know that time of the month it can cause you bloatiness so again too that can affect it too yeah guilty uh, yeah uh <laughs> number three can be if you just had a really really good workout um mm -hmm. either that day of a few hours before or if you had a prior really good workout let's say like a day ago or even like two days ago before everyone is very very different their body reacts different your body is still in recovery mode where it's just going to be retaining water to repair those muscle uh, muscle fibers that have been broken down into and number four just naming off a few off the top of my head is that if you had a higher intake of sodium throughout the day mm -hmm. your body just ends up retaining a lot of water in the stomach you're going to feel bloaty again too and another way to kind of flush that out is like drinking more water too so that's category number one of weight Number two is your dry lean mass. So dry lean mass comprises of your organs, comprises of your muscles and your bones. So for everyone, it's very, very different. Obviously, someone who has a lot much more muscle or someone who's a lot much more bigger frame person is going to be weighing more. But again, too, it can be more into the dry lean mass too. Mm. And third, but not least, is your body fat mass. And your body fat mass, that is just simply the amount of fat that you have on your body too. So again... Kind of going back to that too, um, 
the weight comprises of all those three categories too. That can have all fluctuations in all of them too. Um, so again, I wouldn't be too, too hard on yourself with this weight. Figure out having not only the weights, but having something else as a unit of pro uh, uh, progression and progress would be an, a really, really good alternative too, as well as what, you know, as doing that as well. Um, if you're the type of person where you feel as if that the weight is going to be getting to you mentally, I personally wouldn't want to do the weight. Mm -hmm. I would either just do body, uh, body measurements or pictures or just go on how you feel in that sense. Got it. Cool. Well, thank you so much. Um, there you have it. You heard it from the master. So now we know <laughs> these answers. Um, if you have any other questions, comment below, let us know what you like us to answer. And we're just here to help out. Catch you next time in the next Elite Show episode. All right. Take care.